Grekas doesn't think his portrait can make up for the fact that he's not present. One might start to believe all they say about him, the bad rumors, I mean. If it wasn't that there are no complaints, he's well liked. Maybe it's the Countess of Anvil that's the odd one, you know. Maybe no other count does hearings at all. <laughs> Grakash is trying to justify <laughs> Janus Hasseldor. She always wants to believe the best. <laughs> Hello. Any time now. The Count will not see you now. Not now. Not ever. He sees no one. I'm Mercator Hosidus, his steward. I believe that's all you need to yes, know. Yes, of course. I'm here to visit the castle. I don't mean to bother him at all. <laughs> Grakash doubts she'd want to hang out with someone so unpolite. <laughs> anyway. Anything to say about your beautiful town? Wander the streets, fields, and public places of Skingrad to your heart's content. Just don't include me in your social explorations. I don't think Grakash will ever like Skingrad, no matter the prettiness. She wonders if she's been exceptionally lucky in finding Agnete and Graklak. Other people are either civil, barely civil, detached, or outright condescending. She's slightly bothered because she thinks people should be amicable, always. You want harmony in life and with other people? At least that's what the Nine teach. You have something to say, Dung Heap? I'm Hal Lears, Count Skingrad's steward. The Count does not accept unsolicited visitors, I'm afraid. I apologize for the inconvenience. I'm gonna pretend big time she didn't call Grakash Dung Heap just now. Seriously, the liking-disliking system should be tuned a bit, because she is, um, she works here. She represents the Count. It would be really terrible if she started saying stuff like that to people. Never mind, I'm here to visit and not to see him. I mean, what? I mean, what would I even ask him about? <laughs> Seriously. The castle is very nice. What do you have to say about uh, your beautiful town? Count Skingrad is a very private person. Uh. I handle all the county's public affairs ah. and consult with the Count when necessary. All right. She hates Grakash a lot. Well, thank you very much. I didn't want to impose uh, on the Count. Far from me. Enough talk. Okay, then. I'd say Hal Lures should improve her PR because she's not a good employee or change job. Grakash just feels like she wants to cry right about now. <laughs> Come on, Grakash. We are out with Agnete tonight. Having a good glass of wine. You can vent it all. <laughs> By the way, it's late. Uh, we really need to get uh, to the lodge. I don't know. Time is passing too fast. In game, I mean. Um, I didn't even remember to have lunch. Really thinking about tweaking um, the time scale. Mm. Oh, hey! Hello. Maybe Graklak is also there at the lodge. Maybe she could invite him to drink with them. She can vent to him too. <laughs> Good morning, Druya. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Let's get out. Today, Grakash is gonna ask about her recommendation. She has made up a rule for herself that she's not gonna stay more than two months or so per um, guild, unless she has difficulties. Her mysticism studies uh, are coming to an end pretty quickly. Druya has taught her Hello, everything she knows and she can't really progress anymore at enchanting because she needs uh, the university tutorage, so Vige has done his job as well. Depending on 
what is asked of her she might need time for it and by that time ends she'll probably have uh, to leave she's flexible with her schedule but she wants to get uh, at the arcane university in at least one year approximately Hello, uh, hey do you have any advice about the recom recommendation seriously what do you want <laughs> maybe somebody else could give her a recommendation <laughs> Oh, no, that's Adriana's job, not mine. Yeah, If but... you ask about it, don't be surprised if she's annoyed. She doesn't like being interrupted. Yeah, right, thank you. She's anxious because you she too. knows she will have to interact with Adrienne. And uh, she's very intimidated by her. If you're asking yourself how Grakash financed herself uh, during this period... Uh, of time, she sold all her trinkets, the ones that she accumulated in Anvil. She still has some money, carefully put away. What she's been doing is that she started selling the daggers she's enchanted. After uh, the items got approved by Vige, because they had to be, because uh, Grakash is not an enchanter, she gave them to Agnete to sell and she would take a percentage. Um, at the beginning she just wanted to give them to Agnete. But she told her that it wasn't fair and that she needed to get a percentage from the sales. Because you see Agnete has always been offering to Grakash like the dinners at the lodge and the wine far more times than Grakash has done. Because Agnete knows her situation and she, I mean, she's working, she doesn't have any problem. She got some money <laughs> because uh, young ladies uh, um, usually prefer to have a small weapon they can conceal with a simple enough enchantment, not too heavy, you know, that wouldn't raise any eyebrows. And um, her daggers were just that, <laughs> not the most powerful enchantments ever, but. And there are no chores in this guild for her to do. Nobody really cares about her. <laughs> How goes it? Let's hope it goes well. You know what? We should go to the church and uh, pray. Because uh, gods help us with Adrienne, right? <laughs> She's less preoccupied with her recommendation, with the task, than having uh, uh, an interaction with Adrienne, really. Oh, that's glad, dear. That's nothing to eat. Oh, wow. Oh, that must be Sister Marie. Hello. We haven't met, have we? I'm Sister Marie Paliella, a chapel healer and trainer in the restoration arts. She's the one mentioned in the leaflet. Grakash would like to have some lessons with her. She heard she's really good. What about Skingrad? The town is very nice, but I advise you to get out and see the countryside. The vineyards and farms, pastures and sheepfolds. Lovely mountain country. Grakash still has to see that countryside, doesn't she? Sister Marie is very nice, and she will be the only friend Grakash will have in this chapel, really. Hmm. Any rumors? People are subdued, troubled. A crisis like this tests the people's faith. Yes, indeed, but the divines saved us and manifested through Martin. That's the proof that they love us, and now it's up to us, sister, again. Take care. We must do the gods' work and keep going. To what do we owe this pleasure? <laughs> Here we go. Ah, that's Falanu Halalu, the alchemist. 
Morning. Morning. Oh, it's you. Ambraz, stop hating on Grakash, seriously. It's always you. Whenever I meet you. <laughs> I believe people in the guild uh, are going to be awake by now. <laughs> it was really fast, but believe me, they'll be out and about by the time we get back. And I'm rushing. I feel like I have to do everything in a hurry with this time scale. And, but at the same time, I'm terrified. Changing it. Good to see you. What's the news from the other parts of town? Well met, Guild. Hey, here they are. Any new book you've been reading? I picked up from Never interrupt NPCs. It's rude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let them do their thing. To read it as well. <laughs> Be seeing you. Hello, Guildmate. Hello. Greetings, Conjurer. Hey, Heard seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I learned quite a bit about how to use a shield from Ambrose Can. Oh my Lost god. Bit, but it was worth it. I've heard he's the best in town with a shield. If you want to learn, go to him. We're all talking about the Emperor's murder. What? Oh, Salinas is here. And no heir. Ah, Salinas. <sighs> Do you have any suggestion about the recommendation? Adriana Barena is the person you're looking for. I'm sure she'll be more than happy to help you. Will she now? <sighs> I just don't think about it. The Elder Council will take care of things sooner or later. Good day. Greetings, guildmate. I trust you have a good reason for interrupting me. Yes, Adrian, I suppose. I want to talk about my recommendation. I'd like to start working on it in case I need some time. Do you have something in mind? I'm afraid I haven't given it much thought. I'm rather busy, you understand. Of course. My research occupies nearly all of my time. Of course. Now that I think about it, I do have a small problem concerning Erthor. He's one of the guild mages here. Think you can do something about it? Grakash thinks this is an odd request, isn't it? What could she do about it? Is she going to bring this up with Adriendo? No. <laughs> no. I don't have a please explain what this is about option, so whatever it is, she's taking it. Grakash is taking it. But she's not liking where this is going. <laughs> Excellent. I just don't have the time to search for him again, but I do need to consult him about some notes he borrowed. Search you for might him? You want to ask around and see if anyone can be of some help. Let me know when he's back and you'll have your recommendation. I just have to find him? Doesn't she know where he is? Grakash is not asking anything anymore because she's afraid of making Adrian angry. She probably doesn't remember. <laughs> Do you have something to say about Arthur? He's... well, he's an interesting fellow. Salinus Vecinus can tell you more about him if you wish to know. Salinus should be around here somewhere. Talk to him if you'd like to know more about Erthor. Alright then. Have well, Earth or see me when he gets I back, associate. You. Sure. Vigge? You, you sure? Yes. <laughs> I'm Vigge. I'm Mage's Guild, but I don't train or anything. Vigge, um... Do you know anything about Arthur? He hasn't shown up here in a while. I assumed he was still out at Bleak Flats Cave, where he usually stays. Yeah, I remember you talking about that. What about the cave? I don't remember where it is, honestly. I know it's west of Skingrad. Druja could probably tell you. She has a better memory than I do. <laughs> All the people here have a terrible memory. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Vige. I'd rather take my chances with a disease than have that man try to heal me. <laughs> I've heard others say the same. <laughs> We're all talking about the Emperor's murder. <laughs> we have no Emperor and no heir. That's never happened before. I suppose we should all be worried. I hear you. Goodbye. Hello, Associate. Oh, yeah. 
What? I've talked with uh, Adrian about the recommendation. So, please, I have to find the deserter. Tell me something about him. I know you don't want to talk about it, but... I haven't seen him in quite some time, but then, this isn't the first time he's been away. Okay. So I wasn't really that concerned. Oh. That's why nobody was really worried, I suppose. What about Bleak Flats Cave? It's just northwest of Skingrad. Here, see it on the map? That's where Erthor wound up. After Adrian told him he couldn't practice in the guild hall anymore. What? She probably doesn't even remember that. Mm. You might want to make sure she remembers, especially the part about it being her idea. Do I really want to do that? I don't think I have enough panache uh, to do that, but I try. Why is he not allowed to practice in the guild? What? Good luck finding Erthor. Thank you. Salinas. I hear you got quite a task from Adriana. Quite a task? Is there something I should be worried about? Um, can you tell me anything about Erthor? A nice enough guy, I suppose, but there was that awful scamp incident last mm -hmm. year. That's when Adriana told him he needed to practice somewhere else. Somewhere else? Meaning somewhere far away. So he settled down in Bleak Flats Cave. Did all his work there and came back to town twice a week to check in. Hasn't been around lately, though. Yes, I noticed that, but... I, I, Grakash doesn't think this should be recommendation material. <laughs> it sounds more like an errand. She's worried about Arthur, but... Druya told me about Bleak Flats Cave. Can you tell me anything else? Is it dangerous? Oh dear, I just can't seem to remember where that is. What a shame. See, Grakash doesn't really understand Salinas. I'm here to help if you need. She doesn't understand if he's trolling her. <laughs> Sometimes. But wait, I don't understand. He had an accident while practicing conjuration. From what I understand, because the only reason there would be a scamp around here. It would be because it has been summoned, right? What is it, associate? And nobody actually cared to tutor him? He was just told to go away? I don't know. This is really bad. Um, excuse me. I hope this is important, associate. Sort of, uh, if I may. You're here about that recommendation, I presume. I'll need to speak with Erthor before I write it. Indeed. Um, do you remember? Oh, uh, would you have something to say about Bleak Flats Cave? Oh, I do remember telling him to go there. Mm. Well, we'll just have to do something about that, won't we? By we, I mean you, of course. I have something that may help. It's a basic fireball spell, in case you need to defend yourself. Oh, I... I'll be here when you get back. Good luck. In case I need to defend myself? What am I supposed to find? Okay, Grakash is worried. She's... First, uh, this recommendation seems to be trivial. She has to find a member of the guild that's well, been deliberately sent out of it because nobody bothered to actually teach him conjuration i mean uh, at least this is what rakash is thinking and you know what it's a good day we need to get out of town see you see it's a good day so let's do that let's do it now today's your lucky day so let's hear it <laughs> do you think i hope so at least it's not raining that's why we're taking advantage of this day, here and now. The sooner we get things done, the earlier we move on. I mean, alright, this is a task, but seriously, is it recommendation material? Because nobody seems really worried about Erthor. 
Grakash is just being asked to fetch him. How is she supposed to prove her worth? Or learn anything magical? <laughs> I mean, Adrienne, it's not even providing her with backup, so... It can't be that bad. The worst that can happen is a stray's camp. Which is not pleasant, alright, but she supposes she'll have to be able to deal with something like that. We've got a new destruction spell. Grakash has already practiced with similar spells. She actually likes destruction and uh, alteration and restoration. <laughs> she has favorites. Wow, the countryside really is pretty, isn't it? Oh, it's such a pity that uh, Grakash has to pass through the countryside like this. Uh, you know, on a task, but... Wow, how pretty this is. Ah, that's the windmill we saw from the castle bridge some days ago. Huh. Here it is. Bleak Flats Cave should be around here, very close, in fact, to this inhabited area. I'm going to prepare my fireball. Let's use that. The new spells. There might be wolves. Um, or else... It is not into the wilderness, though, so it can't be that dangerous. It could be nice to take a stroll in the woods, especially if they look this pretty, but yeah, Grakash is uh, never doing that, though. He's <laughs> not that kind of person. <laughs> Good God, rats. Rats may be diseased as well. Look at this, how pretty it looks. The country does look beautiful, she needs to visit it before leaving. It doesn't look dangerous, alright? Here it is! <gasps> Imp! I saw you! <gasps> what did you hit me with? Are you dead? Crazed imp! Okay, there is something else. Oh my god, wow. Gold rat, whatever you are, you. Well, it's not that dangerous out here, is it? Ah, this is the cave. I don't know. <gasps> really, a couple of rats and a stray imp. Oh, Gakash wishes all imps. Would be like Sparky. You know what? Let's garter this. It's somewhat valuable. I don't think there is anything we really want in these rats. Alright then. Here we are. Let's get in. No? It doesn't really look like a cave or anything and there are torches everywhere so somebody's clearly here let's follow them come on Grakash it's just the cave Ertor Ertor <gasps> oh no oh my god oh my god oh 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 Oh. oh my god! Oh. oh please let it be dead, let it be dead! Oh. What? This is not possible! 
possible. Maybe he summoned a zombie and lost control of it, but I see this is why Grakash doesn't like conjuration. I was hoping to find some mort flesh on him, but he doesn't have it. I shouldn't keep my torch out. What if there are more of these things? I should tell Adrian what's going on here. Oh no, he's going to be mad at me. I can't really go back. Seriously, maybe there is only this one zombie and Antor is right back there. I must check a little bit further. Let's hope there aren't any other zombies. Hertor must be here. I hope I don't find him dead. Oh my god. Hertor. Oh, there are some supplies there. <gasps> Is that him? Oh good god! Oh! Oh! Um. Oh just die! Oh. What happened here? This is not... There are supplies here, but there is no Ertor. Oh God, where is he? He's dead somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> Grakash cannot believe this. Well, maybe to everybody's defense, you know what, maybe they never thought that he was in danger, but they left him here. They, they... Adrian sent him away and then she left him here and when he wasn't showing up, well, Druya said that it was normal for him not to show up still. It's not right that... It's not right. Krakash is even thinking about going to the guards, but she wants to think Adrian didn't mean this to happen really, and the guild could get in trouble because Adrian could be accused of negligence. He's still not right to send an apprentice away because he's clumsy. He needs to be taught, and that be Adrian's responsibility. Imagine if he's dead now. Imagine if. Grakash doesn't want to think anything that bad. That's not Ertor either. Ertor. What if he has become a zombie himself? Oh my god. Oh. How would I be able to distinguish him? I won't. That's no Arthur, all right. Oh, please just die. Die, burn. Unholy creature. Oh, please. By all the divines, please let Arthur be alive. Grakash wants to cry. She's having a heart attack and wants to cry. This is this is not right on so many levels. More torches there. What? A whole graveyard? <gasps> is Ertor a necromancer? <laughs> That's not possible. I suppose Grakash would just avoid killing this one guy down there because he's not seeing her. I have to kill him because I need to clean the cave for quest reasons.